welcome back to AJ Travels. My name is AJ and today on my travels we are going to Lanzarote. Yes, I know we are going back to Lanzarote. This is another vlog video. Uh, but don't worry, it's not going to be the same as the last vlog. This time we're going to a different part of Lanzarote. We're going to a completely different part of the island. We're going to be doing different activities, different stuff. We're going from a different airport. So it's going to be completely different from last time, although we are going back to Lanzarote. Now, as I'm speaking to you now, it is currently the day before we are set to leave. I am speaking to you now because we are leaving at about half two tomorrow morning. The flight is at six o'clock in the morning. That's right. The flight to Lanzarote is at six o'clock in the morning, which means we have to be at East Midlands Airport for four, which means we have to get up and we have to be out of the house by half two in the morning. That's why I'm introing this video now. So, yeah, let's get into this, guys. I think it should be a good holiday, and we've got a lot in store for you. I'm going to now hand it over to a very sleepy me at 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. Morning, guys. So, as I just said, it is currently 2 o'clock in the morning now. It's getting closer to half two, and we're just about to leave the house. We've got all the cases here packed, and we are going to do a final weight check. We're going to get them in the car and then uh, get on the road to East Midlands. The only problem with filming the roads at this time in the morning is that, well, you can't really see very much. I think I'll probably just speak to you again when we get to the airport. Right, so we have driven to um, East Midlands Airport now. We've just checked in the bags. Um, I couldn't really film much because I had quite full hands. So uh, we've just checked in the bags and we are just about to go through um, bag search and whatever. And then I will speak to you on the other side. They don't like filming in here. Right, we've gone through security now for my favorite part of the trip, looking at overpriced airport food. First up, um, we have bag of Haribo's here which most shops you can get for a quid these are uh, three pound don't buy um, stuff at airport unlike last time we've actually brought our own food for on the flight so we don't have to uh, buy airport food but obviously because you can't take liquids through the security we're just having to buy a drink at this end I'm getting a Ribena to take on the flight uh, along with my pre-packaged sandwich which was bought a reasonable price not here if you're going through any airport in the world you have to go through um, the duty-free shop first it's just a requirement some of the things you find in a duty-free shop just confuse me who thinks I'm going on a flight I know what I need some Lego this is our one our CV Lanzarote quarter past six in the morning Relax, we haven't got our gate number yet, so we will do just that, relax. Update, we are sat in a bar in the airport. It is currently 25 to 5. Um, the gate info will be released at 25 to 6. So we've got an hour to kill. Dad's just gone up to the bar to get us a drink. And we're just going to um, sit around and have a drink, try and kill an hour until the gate info gets released. Then we can go and find the plane. I also just thought it was worth mentioning that it's 25 to 5 in the morning and there is a queue about a mile long for the bar at the airport. What is wrong with people? We've finished our drink and now we're back on the move. Um, my dad's just realised that he might need a mask at some point on this trip and he hasn't brought one. So now we're at uh, WH Schmidt's buying some masks. Just uh, to clear the record, I came prepared with a mask. Uh, it was Dad that didn't. Right, my dad's just there, he's just buying his uh, face mask. 
for the holiday. Uh, it is currently 25 to 6 in the morning, which means the gate info should be going up any second now. I'll uh, let you know when it goes on. Here we go, it's just come up, boarding gate 11. Let's go find it. We are at the gate, we've managed to find gate 11, we're queuing to get on the plane now. Uh, I'll probably film a bit as uh, we're getting on the plane. It's probably a good time to mention that I don't think I've got a window seat, so I might not be able to film takeoff and landing, unfortunately. Uh, but I'll see what I can do. As we come into land, isn't that great? I'll see you when we're landing. landed safely. We're going to get off the plane in a minute. Just got off the plane. We're going to go now to get the bags. <laughs> off the plane now we've had our passports checked. We're just standing here at the conveyor belt waiting for the bag to come through. We've found one of ours. That one. Now we're just waiting for the bag with my dive stuff in it. We've got it here now, we just need to go find which coach we're getting on to the hotel. And the coach we're going to be going on is this one. We've got the uh, we've got the bags all loaded and we're about to get on, sit down. I don't think there's much point in getting uh, comfy though on this coach because our hotel is literally the closest hotel to the airport so we should be first drop off. So uh, we'll be on this coach for about five minutes. So here we are, we have just arrived at the hotel that we're going to be stopping at. Uh, the coach dropped us off, it was a relatively quick coach trip, it was only about five minutes. Um, so we just stood in reception now, this is the reception. We just stood in the reception area, waiting to uh, check in. So it is now a couple of hours later, we checked into the hotel basically. We had a look round, we've had a couple of hours to acclimatise and get used to where everything is in the hotel and we've also been for lunch. I just want to quickly show you the view of our balcony. Now this is the balcony uh, to our room. I'll be doing a full uh, review of this room in my hotel review video but look at the view from here like you've got the sea over there, you've got like a, a shopping centre over there, mountains and volcanoes like it's all just a brilliant view out of here. So I think what we're going to do now is um, we've got some suntan lotion on, 
we're going to head down to the pool and I think the plan is to do a bit of sunbathing so uh, let's go nice we've just had a few hours around the pool uh, most of the afternoon has gone now we've spent a few hours around the pool then we went back up to the room uh, and dad decided to leave the key down by the pool so we've had to go back and get it um, but now just heading back up to the room we're going to drop some stuff in there and then I think we're just going to like figure out what to do from there it's uh it's it's good here it's really good here but the thing is the weather's not been uh uh brilliant today as it's, it's it's sunny it's sunny and the sun is really warm but when um when it gets cloudy when it clouds over and that wind picks up it can get quite cold so we're uh we're heading back to the room <laughs> guys so it is now evening meal time we've got ready we've got all showered and everything we've got all dressed ready for evening meal and tonight we're going to a special restaurant we're going to the oriental restaurant tonight now this hotel has a few different restaurants it has our standard buffet restaurant but then it also has a few special restaurants there's a pizzeria one and an oriental restaurant both of which you have to book into now the oriental restaurant is only available sunday monday and tuesday and seeing as though we're not going to be here on sunday or monday the only day in our holiday we can experience this oriental restaurant is tonight so tonight the first night we're going to the oriental restaurant and uh, you guys are going to be coming with me and i'm going to be giving you my review and i'm going to be showing you what it's like here we are, this is what I'm wearing. I've got my shirt and I've got my jeans on tonight. I've got my jeans on because it says in the information that you have to have long trousers on for the um, formal restaurants, which of course is what we're going to. You're not allowed to wear shorts or flip-flops in the formal restaurants. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're set now, guys, so um, let's get off. Here we go, down in the lifts. And here it is guys, set in this tropical land is the Oriental restaurant themed around China and the foods of Asia. Let's go in and find out what it's all about. So this is what they've got in the Oriental place, it's basically based on uh, mainly Chinese food. So you've got like your noodles, your rice, your prawn crackers and stuff here. And then there's, uh, this is salted prawns. Um, a fish, veal, and then you've got some sushi and things here. So it's all food based around Asian culture. So this is what I got from the Oriental restaurant. We have uh, two different kinds of rice here. We have um, some noodles, some Chinese uh, bread, and then this is a pork curry kind of thing. So essentially overall the oriental restaurant is just all different foods from sort of asia that sort of place and mostly chinese food as well so you've got kind of curry that's from india you've got some chinese stuff and you've got sushi obviously from japan so you've got lots of different oriental type foods um i'm going to give this a try and then i'll give you a review One other thing I do want to mention about the Oriental restaurant is where it's located. Our table is here. And I mean, look at this. They've got like a jungle growing inside this hotel. Like, this is the hotel. This is all rooms around here. And you've got your normal restaurant over there. But then, like, it's just like a jungle in here. And it, you really get the uh, impression that you're, like, sat in the middle of some hotel that's been taken over by the wildlife and, and there's like um, there's like tiki sort of huts over there 
So you get the impression that like the hotel's been taken over by the jungle and that you're sat in the middle of this jungle in some oriental type restaurant sort of thing. And it's it's really good. You really do get immersed in the uh, in the atmosphere. So I would say overall, uh, oriental restaurant, very good. If you like uh, sushi and if you like um, all oriental foods from Asia and that sort of thing, it'd be right up your alley. Um, overall, very good. So, now we've got evening meal done, we're going to something quite exciting. The last few hotels that we've been to have not had any evening entertainment on, which is quite disappointing because the last few hotels we've been to, they've been really good, but the only thing we've found wrong with them is that they haven't got any evening entertainment. Now, this hotel has promised live shows and good live shows at that, so there is a show bar that is the other side of the hotel over here. That's where we're going now. And uh, we're gonna see if they've got any decent shows on. And uh, I will review the entertainment. Before that though, we have to go back to the room to get down to tablets. But uh, after that, we're gonna go check out the evening entertainment and see if indeed there is any. And this is what it looks like inside the show bar. You've got the actual bar over there. And then you've got this big theatre stage with a, like a dance floor in front and you've got all these club chairs and little seating areas around so it's a really good uh, really good area it looks like a really good space for shows and stuff so we'll see what the actual shows are like when they come on in the evening entertainment they've just had mini disco um, we're doing a quiz now trying to guess the celebrity up on the screen they're trying to guess the celebrity who's on the screen. Right guys, we are heading back to the room now. We have discovered two things today then. That one, this uh, hotel does indeed have evening entertainment and two, that it is actually decent. So, um, we are unfortunately having to head back to the room now because it's been a very long day. We've been up since 2 in the morning. 20 hours straight. 20 hours straight. We've been up since 2 in the morning and then now it is just gone 10 o'clock at night. So we are heading back to the room to get some much deserved sleep uh, and I will see you in the morning for breakfast. We've just found out the icing on the cake. Our room is directly above where the evening entertainment is. It's going to be fun. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning now, and we are about to go for breakfast now. This is where we find out if this is a good hotel or an excellent hotel. So far, from everything that we've seen, I would rate this hotel five stars. I mean, this is a brilliant hotel from everything that we've seen so far. But the big thing is, can they do breakfast? Because I don't usually like the breakfast from an all-inclusive hotel. It's usually not very good. If they can do a good breakfast, I'll be impressed. So let's go find out. We are on the way to breakfast. Look at this hotel. So, a lot of lift shots in this video. A lot of lift shots. Here we are, the breakfast restaurant. So, question what's for breakfast? Answer they've got everything. They've got ham, they've got that Spanish. Omelette, uh, Spanish tortilla, they've got tomatoes, they've got decent sausage, um, they've got fried egg here, fried egg, I love fried egg, beans, and round here, round here, they've even got churros. You know, when I said it really depends on whether the breakfast is good or not, I think the breakfast has come good today. So this is what I got for breakfast. I got a fried egg, beans, some of these potatoes. I've got a bit of this to try, although I don't know about it. Um, and I've got a couple of English sausages with a bread roll. This is the perfect breakfast. Um, 
unfortunately that is all the time we have for today's video guys if you did enjoy this video then please do leave it a like and if you like this sort of content if you like travel videos if you like scuba diving videos hotel reviews and general vlogs all that good stuff then please do subscribe to this channel because we've got a lot more of that coming and let me know what do you think to the first part of my holiday to Lanzarote? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But I think all there is to say now, guys, is I will see you next time.